Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to RuneScape for Dummies. So in today's video we're going to be going through farm runs. It's a very basic farm run that includes um, trees, herbs, uh, allotments and flowers. Um, I'm not going to be covering fruit trees in this, but that's something that I could introduce in a later uh, video, more sort of a more advanced uh, farm run. But this is trying to, you know, get you in the in the uh, in the farming mood uh, in inverted commas, uh, but just to kind of teach you um, a real basic way of getting up your farming uh, in in you know an efficient way. Um, so we're going to be doing five different tree spots, uh, four different herb. Um, allotment and flower spots, but each for each uh, allotment there's two, so eight different allotments. Uh, that being said, I've got five oak um, saplings on me. They can be any tree that you know you can uh, grow. I've got 24 um, allotment seeds. In this case, I've got watermelons. I've got four uh, herb seeds. In this case, I've got irrits and four limworts, which is the flower seeds. Uh, and then we've got the uh, different tools we're going to use in. Uh, the axe is for chopping down the trees once they've grown uh, to replace them. Um, so there are some... Uh, where are we? Quest, diary, and skill requirements. For the quests, um, the first is the Grand Tree. Because I'm going to be using the Gnome Glider in Alcarid. Um, you've got Ghost Ahoy, because I'm going to be using the Ectophile to get to one of the um, herb patches. You've then got Fairy Tale 1 which uh, are going to be using the Magic Secateurs, just because these give a higher yield when you're um, collecting up uh, your produce. Um, then I'm going to be using the uh, Explorer's Ring 2, uh, which you need to do the Lumbridge and uh, Drain or Medium Diary for. This is something that just is a bit more quality of life on, your, on three of your farm runs, because you only get three charges in it, um, in this run that I'm doing. So I'm also going to show you the, the running method for that section. It's it's not that far of a run. It just cuts it down by, let's say, a minute. Um, and then the skill requirement is 45 magic to be able to teleport to Camelot. I In my player and house, I've got the Falador, Varrock, and Camelot portal set up. Uh, so I'm going to be using teleport to house because we're going to be teleporting to those three locations. Um, so obviously you need to bring the runes that you need to cast the spells that you're going to be using the teleports for. I'm going to be using Law Runes, Air Runes, and Earth Runes. Obviously, you're going to need the respective runes for the uh, Varrock, Falador, Camelot teleports that you're going to be using if you're not using the same ones as me. Um, but also, you'd need them to set up the portals anyway. Um, I've also got a Ring of Jewel in, because uh, I'm going to need to use that to get to Alcarid, and then get to the Gnome Glider. Um, what else do we have? I'm also using Full Graceful. Weight reducing armor just means that you've got more run in you. Um, which makes it a bit less painful. Um, I'm also going to be using Super Compost. I don't have it on me at the moment, but I'm going to be collecting it on the way. But that being said, um, just to quickly go through the order that we're doing. So we've got three trees in a row. We've got Lumbridge Castle, and we're going to be teleporting to Lumbridge. We've then got the tree in Varrock, and we're just going to use the home teleport and use the Varrock portal. So in, if you're not using the home teleport, Varrock teleport. Um, the next one is the tree in Falador Park. Um, I'm going to be again using the home teleport, but you can use the Falador teleport. Uh, we're then going to be going to the Falador Herb Patch, which is where your um, Explorer's Ring comes in. Or I can just show you the run that you can do as well. We're then going to teleport um, home and go to the Falador Portal again. And we're going to run to Tavoli, where we're going to plant another tree. Um, we're then going to teleport using the Ectophile, going to the Ectofunctus. We're then going to run up to the herb patch and plant our herbs, flowers, and um, also our uh, allotment as well. We're then going to do, I've moved my house to um, the Hasidius region um, because the Hasidius patches have a, um, you you, you don't get diseased patches after 60%, I think it's 60% favour or 80% favour. Essentially, just get 100% in a hit, hit a Sidious in your grand, mate. Um, <laughs> great favour to do. I might do some favour guides as well later down the line. But I've, I've moved my house to Hasidious just because it's closer to that farm patch. You could just um, teleport to Hasidious another way if you want. Um, but I'd recommend moving your house to Hasidious if you're going to be doing a lot of farm runs. Uh, the next one is we're going to Camelot, again, home teleport, and then go to Camelot, portal, or you can just teleport to uh, Camelot. Um, 
The next one is I'm going to use the Ring of Jeweling to go to the Gnome Stronghold. So with this, we're going to do uh, Ring of Jeweling, run to the Gnome Glider, go down the tree and to the tree patch in there. And that is the end of our short farm run. Um, obviously, you're not going to be doing the tree ones every time. Um, the herb patches are normally going to be every hour, hour and a half, whereas your trees, um, if you're using oaks, it, they're every two hours and 20 minutes. We're like, uh, and for that, you can um, pay the gardener a basket of tomatoes to look after it for you. You've then got willow, uh, if you're using willows, they're three hours and 40 minutes to grow, and you give a basket of apples. Uh, maples is five hours and 20 minutes, you use a basket of oranges. You, six hours and 40 minutes. With that, it's 10 cactus spines. Then you've got magic trees, which take eight hours, and they're 25 coconuts. I'm not going to be factoring in teaks and mahoganies. Um, again, that could be in a more advanced tutorial. Um, you could also stick your birdhouse runs on the end of the overall uh, thing uh, to factor them in as well, but I'm, that's just a, a little FYI. Um, but yeah. Let's go through a quick run of how that looks. Um, so we're going to start off by teleporting to Lumbridge. And we're going to run west out the back door of the castle to our first tree spot. And I'm going to do this in real time just so you get an idea of how quickly you can actually get it done. Um, I'm going to have to rake each thing as well, but obviously this time will be shaved off once you've you know done your, your first run because there's not going to be anything in the ground. Um, I'm also going to take a chance here to grab a load of compost from the leprechaun. Um, okay, let's quickly exchange him. And we're going to grab a load of super composts. Drop that. Okay. Right. Sound. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these super composts on the uh, patch as well. So next up, we're going to teleport. But I'm going to teleport to home. In this case, you teleport to Varrock, and I'm going to go to my Varrock portal. We're then going to run into the castle. Where is my portal? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to go through my Varrock portal, or you do your Varrock teleport, and you're in the middle of the square in Varrock. You then want to run north into the castle grounds and go uh, northeast to the tree patch. I'm going to quickly rake the uh, the patch here. It's, it's best to leave the buckets in your inventory so you don't have to uh, drop all the... Um, what do you call it? I'm, I'm going to use my compost here. And then oak tree in, or whatever tree you're using. Uh, so you don't have to pick up the weeds. Um, they get a bit of a pain in the ass when you've got to keep dropping them. If you keep your inventory full, they just won't spawn. Uh, and now we're going to teleport to... I'm going to teleport to house... We're going to teleport to Falador. Here we're going to go to Falador Park and plant our tree. Uh, so my teleport is here. Our portal, I should say. You could use house, ta uh, uh, house tabs as well instead of the, um, the runes, uh, if you so wish. But I am an Iron Man, so I don't have the luxury of them at the moment. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to rake this patch. Like I said... Um, you won't pick up any of the weeds if you have a full inventory, which uh, makes it a little bit quicker as well. You haven't got to fill your inventory with a load of shit. Okay, dump your oak in there. Happy days. Put your compost on. Um, I'm now going to teleport to the herb patch. So I'm going to teleport using my explorer's ring. Oh, wait. I haven't got any charges in it, but you would teleport. See, I did forward plan this. So now uh, we're going to run um, south uh, up the road here, past the bank. And then we're going to go east out of the castle. Um, actually, yeah, east um, to the patches that are down here, past the farm. Okay, now rake all your allotments. I will speed this bit up. Okay, then you want to use your allotment seeds, and because I'm using watermelons, uh, you're going to want to water this patch. Use your super compost, or your compost, or whatever you're using. Uh, flower patch. 
and in this I'm going to be using my limpwort seeds. Okay, plant your limpworts or your flowers or whatever you're using. Uh, watering can and super compost. And then move on to the next allotment, which is again going to be the same, the watermelons. And then finally you want to rake your herb patch or just plant your herbs. Okay, plant your, in my case, irrits. And you don't need to water this patch, you just use your compost. Okay, so now I've gone through sort of one section here. Um, I'm now going to teleport to Tablet. Well, I'm going to teleport to Varrock. Uh, not Varrock, sorry. Home teleport to Falador. So I'm going to use my uh, house teleport, go to my Falador portal, and then we're going to run to Tavoli. Uh Falador. In this case, you can use your, your Falador teleport if you're using that instead. So now we're going to run north, and then northwest towards Tavoli. And here I haven't actually cleared the tree that I've got here, but you would plant your oak tree there or whatever tree you're using. Um, you then want to use your ectophile and go to um, the ectofunctus. And here we've got another herb patch. So you want to come out, go north, and then go east past the farm. And here you want to plant your herb, your allotment, your flower, and your allotment again. Um, obviously, you only need to use, you use compost on all of them, but these three, uh, the flower, herb, and allotments, you only need to use your watering can on. You don't use that on herbs. Uh, we're then going to teleport. I'm going to teleport to home, and we're going to go, like I said, I've relocated my house to Hesidius. So I'm going to enter my portal and leave my house. You can teleport outside your house, but it's just less right clicking uh you then want to run north and this is going to be where your disease free patches and then here you've got again you've got your herb two allotments and flowers um i'm then going to teleport to uh camelot or use your house teleport i'm just going to teleport to camelot um, it uses the same runes as the house teleport by the earth runes uh, here's also a good point for you to fill up your watering can in the fountain as well um there are plenty of water spots along the way. Also, if you're teleporting to your house, you can run to your sink. Um, now you want to run east to the next um, herb spot with the allotment and flowers. And here again, you've got two allotments, a flower and a herb. Uh, after this, you want to teleport using your ring of jeweling. I'm going to rub that and go to Alcarid Jewel Arena. Okay, you then want to run west and then southwest towards the gnome glider. Use your gnome glider. You want to go to the um, gnome stronghold, which is the tree. Go down the ladder. Go down again and keep going down to you're on the bottom floor. So that's down three times. Three times a lady. And then open up your tree door. You want to run south. And then southwest. Near where Neve is, the Slayer Master. And there's a tree. Um, I've also run out of run. This is also why having your Explorer's Ring is pretty good as well. Because you've got run energy. Um, if not, you can bring energy pots. But that's just wasting inventory space. Um, near where Neve is, there's another tree spot here, um, where you can plant your tree, and that is your last port of call on the farm run. Um, so now you've you know you've got time to kill. You've got like an hour to an hour and a half for your herbs um, and allotments. Your flowers are normally about half an hour, and your trees are like I said before, um, different times, but they're normally they're at least two hours twenty. Um, you don't really need to check. Um, the status of everything if if you're using um, the uh, farmers to look after your produce um, I don't normally do that I just kind of leave it and go back and see what's dead and what's not <laughs> which is pretty bad but I'll be honest with you um, 
yeah, I mean, herbs are normally sound. Um, you can go through every half an hour and check on everything, make sure it's okay, especially if you're going to go and replenish your flower spots um, because they're normally every half an hour, like I said. Uh, and you can kind of check on your allotments and your uh, herbs while you're doing that. But, um, yeah, I hope this video has been of use. I know it's a little bit of a fucking shit show um, because there's a lot to explain. Um, I will put up some graphics on the screen as I'm going through everything just to kind of flex the spreadsheet that I've built. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, if you've got any suggestions for more RuneScape for Dummy videos that you'd like to see me do, um, I've got a PVM one of Dagonoff Rex currently up on the channel uh, and there's going to be a lot more PVM style stuff and also skilling stuff put up on the channel over the next few weeks, months and all that kind of jazz. Um, if you did find it useful, hit that like button. Any suggestions, like I said, down in the comments. Subscribe if you're new and I will love you and leave you and see you next time. Bye.